Watch time is over. What's that? In case, man. <laughs> I see you've plied knifey spoony before. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI and this is a reaction channel. I usually react to movies and TV shows, but today I'm going to be reacting to the new AEW Jazzwares Supreme Edition Penta L0M action figure. You can see it back there. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this as well. I don't know if I'm going to do more of these videos. I'm going to see how it goes, but I'm a huge fan of Pentagon and I can't wait to get this figure. I've got all of his other figures and uh, let's jump into the unboxing. <laughs> So at first glance, looking at the box, it's absolutely beautiful. This is just unbelievable packaging. I'm so glad that I picked up two of them so I can keep one of them, one to rock, one to stock. The attire is from the uh, AEW All Out pay-per-view where the Lucha Bros won the tag team championships. Uh, we get a great picture of Pentagon on the back with the uh, date of where it happened. Is that the 5th of September or is that the 9th of May? I don't know, you tell me. Great packaging on the back. Again, this is prime for getting signed. Like the back, the front, you could get this signed anywhere. I love how they've got all the uh, different uh, accessories in the uh, the side of the, the figure as well. That's just a really cool way to do it. And we got the AEW, uh, what is it? The Tag Team Championship belt there. But don't worry, I got some special uh, plans in store for some great figure photography in this video with this action figure. Without further ado, let's open him up. All right, first thoughts, ease up on the packaging, Jazzwares, please. You wanna know how long it took me to open this thing up? It took 84 years. I'm like the old lady in Titanic. That was an ordeal, just getting that done. All right, we've got it in front of us now. Let's have a look at the figure to start with. Now, I've got a bit of a, um, I don't know, brief history with the AEW Jazzwares figures. I probably have about maybe maybe seven or eight of them i suppose mainly mostly from the early lines because that's what it's like living in australia we don't get any new stuff ever even the early lines we only got those like a year ago and some of them have been really good some of them have been a little bit um brittle in ways like i have a luchasaurus his leg popped off i had a penta whose leg popped off some of them it pops off right out of the thing and you kind of put it back on and it's good but i i've had a bit of a mixed um experience with the AEW. Jazzwares figures, but this is my first Supreme Edition, and man, I gotta say, this looks absolutely insane. The detail on this mask is next level. The hands that come, okay, the arm popped off, but at least this one is supposed to be exchangeable and it's just come out of the box. So I love this attire, I love the red, green, and white. Um, color scheme, I just think it looks fantastic. The the Letterman jacket or the, the college jacket, whatever you call it, that looks perfect. I really like the um, the material that they've used for this. It's not too, you know, like thick and like immovable. Quality wise, this is up there. Let me try and stand him up. Stands up great. The last Penta was good, but it kind of only really had like one position. You could have the legs in that stood up like, you know, pretty well. Trying to put it in a kneeling position was never really that good. Um, how does this one go? Are you trying to, trying to kneel? I feel like that's where you start pushing the legs really to their limit, but okay, he, he kneels okay. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But let's have a quick look at some of the accessories, starting with the hands. I mean, the, I love the paint splatter effect. It says Zero Miedo on the, um, on the knuckles, I think? It says Miedo on one of them, but the hands look fantastic. I mean, Penta's attire is always, you know, pretty um, pretty damn good. We even got some bare fists with the uh, Zero Miedo tattoos on there as well. So if you want to show his his bare hands, you can you can do that. We've got three head sculpts. Uh, let's have a look. So yeah, one of them looks like he's doing the Miedo kind of thing, which is uh, good that they can capture that syllable in a way, I guess. Uh, then we've got a closed mouth that looks pretty badass, and then we've got the uh, the tongue out, which we've seen on uh, the Pentas in the past. But really happy with all of these um, all of these head scans. The the detail on the masks they're all very consistent as well, which is great to see. Again, I, just, I love the color scheme. His tattoos, you know, I'm sure they're going to be perfect. Yeah, they look pretty amazing. They look really good actually. I don't know if this is the same as the. Um, unrivaled collection or not but these look 
pretty damn impressive. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. And lastly, we've got the uh, the headdress, the uh, Aztecan looking headdress with the feathers. This is um, a little bit heavier than I kind of expected it to be. It's not heaps heavy, but it definitely um, is heavier than I expected. Does it just fit on Penta's head? Oh yeah, it's it, it's like oh yeah, it's got some real good um, attachment and balance as well. Yeah, he stands up perfect with the headdress on as well. Like this is an absolutely fantastic figure. I'm really keen to uh, swap these arms off and get the um, get the other hands on there. So I'm going to do that now. I'm sure I've got some. Um, uh, figure photography on the side here for you guys as I go through this. Again, this is the first time doing one of these videos, uh, but I think I picked a pretty good figure to react to here. So looking at this with the uh, the bare arms, like in the, uh, you know, the ring attire kind of pose, it's pretty good. Um, I, I do feel like the arms are going to like pop out a little bit too easily, but in terms of posing it, as long as you get the pose that you want, like you should be pretty good. It, the, the butterfly joints look fantastic with the, um, uh, the design underneath that matches the, the top. Um, looking at the design here, I'm very, very happy with the paint application on this particular figure, especially on the torso and everything like that. I had a look at some other reviews and some of them, the, the, abs, the abdominal design, it looked a little bit, um, a little bit weird, but I'm glad this one looks fantastic. I like the, um, the loincloth that old mate is wearing here as well. We've got the toe articulation, which is nice to see. Double jointed everything, double jointed it. Double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. In terms of articulation for the head, there's a, I mean, you got your side to side, a little bit of up and down. Uh, let's swap the heads out. Everything is popping on and off of this really uh, easily, by the way. Um, look at that. This is honestly one of the nicest action figures I think I've ever seen. Penta is so toyetic. There's so much detail on this. So, so many accessories as well. So many options on how to pose it and everything like that. I've got all of the Pentagon, uh, Penta L0M, Pentagon Jr. figures from AEW and the Legends of Lucha Libre and things like that. I haven't opened up my Legends of Lucha Libre Penta, but I have opened up the Ray Phoenix and I, I've got a good idea for the quality of what it's like. And this is next level. It doesn't feel too like stiff. It doesn't feel too brittle. Like at times it does like feel like it might be a little bit like that, but it doesn't, I, I don't feel like I'm, um, you know, having to be really careful posing this and, and moving it around. And I'm, I'm not worried that like, you know, the legs are gonna pop off or anything like that. So um, has it got pop down joints? Is that how that works? Yeah, no. Nah. His attire goes great with this figure. Like even where all the articulation is, like it all just kind of like looks great. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. Have you got this figure? Do you collect action figures? I don't talk about figures much on my channel, but I do uh, every now and then kind of drop a reference here or there. My Star Wars videos, I've been getting the Star Wars Mandalorian set lately. So I've been talking about that quite a bit but i love action figures if you do enjoy action figures subscribe to the channel even though it's a reaction channel you'll probably hear me drop a reference here or there and you know i feel like action figures and wrestling fans are uh, they're kind of like a secret society in a way like we have our own languages and there's little references that don't pick up so if you love wrestling or if you love figures you might enjoy the channel so hit the subscribe button and i'm going to leave you guys with some figure photography of this beautiful figure some comparisons with other stuff that you might find interesting so i hope you enjoyed that to end the video and as always be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video zero miedo